to my last video, I decided to see if I could be someone who bikes to work. While I actually really, really enjoyed it, I had two major struggles that I just, I don't know if I could overcome. One, I was just getting sweaty on the way to work and it was just not ideal. I didn't want to shower every time I got to work and bring a change of clothes and all that stuff. And two, I usually am bringing camera gear back and forth from work. Food and a change of clothes and all those things just added up and it just didn't fit on my bike. So I think I, think I can solve those problems. So yeah, I bought an e-bike. been a couple hours of the battery charging and I'm ready to give it a go. Let's test this out. first impressions, I'm blown away by this thing. The fact that on throttle only, like I can just rip around, super fun. I lowered the seat so it felt like a motorcycle. And then when you raise the seat back up, like that. Looks more like a cruiser bike. It's not as cool looking, definitely, but it does uh, make it easier to pedal. So overall, like, I mean, I got storage. I'm gonna add that front rack and like, I'm super excited. I think this is gonna make my commute way more fun, way more enjoyable. Yeah, this is awesome. While this isn't a technical review of this bike at all, I figured I should give a couple of the details if you were curious. So this is the Rad Runner Plus from Rad Power Bikes. A few of the key features, it has a 500 watt motor, has a removable battery, you can see the passenger seat on the back, front fork suspension, an LCD screen to tell you your speed in kilometers and other info. And I opted for the center console and the front basket accessories. If you wanted any more details about Rad Power, you can head to their website in the description. For some people, this really could just be a big toy. It is so much fun. You can just rip around. But at that price range, honestly, this isn't just a toy for me. This bike can get me pretty much anywhere that I go on a regular basis. I've had it now for almost three weeks and it has been unreal. I've biked pretty much every day to work and my commute has been so much fun. While it may not look the coolest, I think Super 73s look a lot cooler. This honestly doesn't look too bad. You get a lot of funny looks, but I think that's just because of how big and how uh, different it looks from a normal bike. Today I figured I'd show you my daily routine just so you get an idea of what it's actually like to ride on this to work every day. My ride is about six kilometers both ways, not too far, about 20, 25 minutes, depending on the lights that I hit. So let's get to it. Camera in there. Something like that. A bit of extra protection there. Get ready to rip. like that we have arrived 
seriously, not a bad commute. It takes me about 20, 25 minutes. You can see the roads are not great. I have a couple bike paths to ride on, but then also a lot of sidewalks or very busy roads or strodes as some people know them. But yeah, not too bad, pretty fun. She's holding up pretty well so far. Another work day is done and we are gonna head out and do some errands on the way home. We actually have a few places to stop, not on the way. We're gonna head all the way downtown and back and so um, this should be a fun little ride. It's beautiful outside. And uh, yeah, let's head out. Just like that, we are almost home. I wanted to take a second to explain a couple things. So, am I a cheater for using an e-bike? It's surprising how many funny looks I get from people when I tell them that I actually got an e-bike. Some people understand and they've seen them everywhere. Some people think that maybe it's a little bit funny because they assume that if you're biking to work, you're doing it for some sort of fitness purpose. And that's where I kind of want to talk about who an e-bike is actually for and why you would want to get one. Well, obviously anybody and everybody could buy an e-bike, um, but not everyone actually needs one. You're probably right if you think that I don't need one. I don't need it. But the two biggest problems, like I said at the beginning of this video, is that I didn't want to get all sweaty. In other words, I didn't want to get a workout in before work, and I needed to carry a lot of stuff, and this bike offers both of those things for me. Another big reason I bought this bike is actually just because it's fun. I wanted something that I really enjoyed. I'm someone who's always wanted a one wheel or an electric longboard, and this is kind of my compromise. I get to have fun, I get to take it out on rides. Me and my wife ride all around on it, and we have a blast. And honestly, that's a huge draw for me because this is, it's just fun. Of course, if you're looking to get a really great workout in, on a bike ride, this probably isn't the best bike for you. I actually took it out on a long ride recently with a bunch of friends and they were all riding their normal bikes getting a good workout and I felt a little bit like I was cheating and um, that's because for me it wasn't a workout, it was just a fun ride around the city. Realistically though, I think it is possible to replace your car, partially because, I don't know the exact stat, but it's something like 80 or 90% of our trips taken generally are within five kilometers of our house. And that rings true for me because I get my groceries right down the street. My work is only six kilometers away and a, a good chunk of my errand running is all really close to me. So it's actually faster sometimes to take my bike, which is surprising. So yeah, this has been a glimpse into what it's like riding every day on a Rad Runner Plus. I'm a huge fan of it and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.